the Minister of Labor and Employment, Senator Chris Ngigi, has condemned the gruesome murder of the All Progressive Congress, APC chieftain and former political advisor to President Jonathan Ahmed Gulag as wicked, unwarranted and unnecessary. Senator Ngigi, in a statement issued by his media office in Abuja on Monday, said that Ndubo cannot afford to be linked to a senseless murder. According to him, it is not in our character as Indubo to shed blood for any reason or for any cause. Peace, consultation and accommodation are integral to our republicanism as a race. Indubo cannot afford to be linked to a senseless murder or any other action that can bitterly saw our relationship with our brothers from other parts of Nigeria. The minister appealed to all political actors and grieved youth in Imo State and every state in the Southeast to immediately start the escalating violence and embrace dialogue. He said, I wish to appeal to all political actors and youth in Imo State, indeed all states in Southeast, to reject violence as a means to address the challenges we face as Indubo in Nigeria. I further advised all aggrieved persons, whether they are politicians or youth, to eschew violence as there is nothing that can, you know, that cannot be resolved through dialogue. Late Ahmed Guma Gulak pardon, was a friend. While he served President Jonathan as political advisor, I was in the seventh Senate and we had a very good relationship. We spoke during the Ramadan fasting and had our last encounter during Salah. It is quite shocking. Ahmed died in such a regretful circumstance. I wish to condole the state, you know, the government, pardon, and good people of Adamawa State over this tragic loss, especially his immediate family relatives and friends and pray that almighty god will accept his soul and grant him eternal rest he also condoled with the endogon state government and the people of umbu in iswozo local government area over the mother of retired justice stanley naji of endogon state high court ongige also prayed to god almighty to grant him eternal rest what is your say to this what is your thought concerning what you have had we have had earlier in the news that minister of labor and employment senator chris ngige you know has employed and condemned the you know gruesome mother of the all progressive congress apc chieftain and former political advisor to president jonathan ahmed gulag as wicked unwarranted and unnecessary what is your say to this? We would like you to drop your thought and comment on what has been said. We would like you to share your own reaction and thought. We would like to see your point of view on this that has been said. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see their own you know, perspective of which they are saying what has been said. Guests reacted to this and said, Senseless murder was carried out when innocent people were unjustly killed by the federal government. Senseless murder, sir, is when federal government declare people who just want to have an exclusive part at the federal and be seen as part of the nation. That, sir, is a senseless murder. We have had what guests have said that a senseless murder is refers to when federal government declare people who just want to have an inclusive part, you know, at the federal and to be seen as part of a nation. What is your say to that? What is your thought on what guests have said? Well, let's move forward and see what other people's reactions is on what has been said. There was a nation also reacted to this and said, Thank you so much, Honorable Minister. Indeed, Igbos are not known for sharing innocent blood. I still believe that this has something to do with political killings. Police need to investigate properly about this death. I believe that at the end, we may find out that it is a political killing. 
but police rushed into conclusion that they have killed the people who you know may not be true what is your say to that what is your reaction to what the nation has said that indeed Igbos, you know are not known for shedding innocent blood he said i still believe that this has something to do with political killings what is your thought on what you have had we would like you to drop your own reaction to this let's move forward and see what other people's reactions is on what has been said melvin dada emmanuel reacted to this also and said it is most you know unfortunate i wonder who would you know wants to indemnified with the evils with their reckless attitude it's most unfortunate i keep saying it they need to be tinkered and refined we have had what emmanuel that have also said in his own reaction to this that the evils needs to be tinkered and refined we need to refine them because i wonder who will want to be you know identified with the evils with their reckless attitude what is your say to that let's move forward and see what other people's reactions is on what has been said another guest here reacted to this and said mr ungigi thanks for your speech it is true that we are peaceful people and till today we still maintain peace i as well agree with you that the mother is not in our character still we have our dignity as the most industrious nation in the world who their rights are denied, dehumanized, butchered, yet they struggle to make things happen in the world. I have questions for you and please try to answer me. How many times have you seen, you know, Buhari concerning the killings going in Boland on daily basics? I'm not talking about marginalization. How many times have you come out to condemn the military adopting the youth of Ebolans? How many times have you condemned the raping of our women? And I ask you, how do you know that Gulag was murdered by Indubu? Thank God you said that mothers is not in our character. I have been respecting and thinking that you meant well for you know your people, but now you are providing me wrong you know, for thinking that some politicians are different. Sir, how can you prove to us that assassinators were of Igbo origin? And how can you as well tell us that you were not in the mission to, you know, of enslaving us together with the Fulanis? Of course, they are your masters. How again can you tell us that you are not incriminating us? Those who, you know, who are supposed to protect and improve uh, their lives? Ngige don't think that if Fulani terrorists should kill all the Igbos, that they would spare you in any way. Again, remember that there is no standing tree without root, and don't think you can help you know, to cut off your root and still stand as a tree. Thank you. We have heard what another guest here has said in his own thoughts and reaction. He asked, you know, so many questions like how many times have you, you know, come out to condemn the military adopting the youth of Ebolans? How many times have you condemned the raping of our women? And I asked you, how do you know that Gulag was murdered by Indubu? It is, you know, so obvious that you said it yourself that, thank God, it is not in the blood of the Indubu to, you know, to murder someone. All these modern, you know, modern activities is not in their blood. Now, how are you sure? How do you know that Gulag was murdered by Ndubu? What do you make of this statement? We would like you to drop your thoughts on what has been said. We would like to see your own point of view on what has been said so far. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.